So let us say we have a zone, zone number A, and it will have a member. One is initiator, and one is a member is a is a target. So zone will be a part of a zone set. And this zone set will be in one fabric. So zones like this, we will have multiple zones. A little different here with the naming convention. So multiple zones will belong to one zone set. And only one active, one zone set active per vSAN. Right? How do we create a zone? How do we add a member? And how do we activate a zone set? Let us see. So this is my MDS1. This MDS1 connects to the JBOD on F01 slash 10, right? So this I will have the floggy first. I will say interface FC1 slash 10. Switchboard mode is FL, no shut. And show floggy database. So I receive two ports over here. I can create zone name first or vsan1 like vlans we can create separate vsans here i say zone name first name is first right for vsan1 and i will say member you can also have members with their pwwn with their aliases with their interfaces with their ip addresses so i will say member port worldwide name and i will simply paste this pwwn so what did i do this PWN. So in, instead of this initiator, I will write, okay, this is my initiator. What is this is my member over here, right? This is my first member. Now to find the target from the UCS, if yesterday your service profile boots up, it will log in on the 5k and we will get his froggy also. But as of now, we have just a zone and a zone has one member. We will add a target over here so that this person sitting over here, this person sitting over here in the UCS, he will, this, this is our server and this is our initiator. This is my target. Getting it? So which server can talk to which JBOD or the logical unit number we can say. So we created a zone, we added a member. Now you can also say zone, zone set name first for vsan one i am creating a zone set right the name of the zone set is first and it belongs to vsan one and what will who is the member of a zone set you will say here you will say member and hit a question mark what is the name it is first this first is the name of your zone getting it exit and I can also say zone set activate zone set activate question mark for this please activate for vsan1 zone set activate name for vsan1 and then you can say also say zone commit for vsan1 it is not in this configuration mode because it is not in enhanced mode. You can also change the zoning mode to enhanced. What will enhanced zoning do? It will create a lock. So if I'm doing some changes in one zone and you are also talking about that zone, he will not allow you to do that. It will create a logical lock on that zone. So as of now, you can say zone distribute or zone set. You can say distribute question mark full for vSAN one. Now what we did, we created a simple zone. We added member to the zone. Now we have one more device over here. We have 5k MDS2 over here, right? We have to propagate this data over here, but by default, it will not be propagated because we have IP links over here. And for that we require FC IP, right? Fiber channel over IP. If I have this link successful, then my zone will be propagated over here because it is a distributed service. So 
let us write the configuration of fc ip because here there is ip requirement so we have this as fc this as fc ip data comes in via fc your scsi reads and writes are on fc and this will be encapsulated over ip okay so let us pause for a second and write down the configuration for fc ip there are three parameters required for fc ip one is basic ip address on the interface then is fc ip profile and there is an interface fc ip number right so we'll just go ahead and write it down so this is the configuration for our fc ip first feature fc ip then my gigabit 1g1 1/3 over here 1/3 over here so i'll say okay interface gigabit 1/3 this is my ip on mds1 if you if you write down this is my mds1 10.0.0.1 so mds1 has 10001 over here i turned it on i created an fcip profile with the ip this ip address i created an a logical fcip i told him to use this profile and peer info ip address over here if the peer is using any uh, is if there is a firewall like this you can also say port and change number change the port number whatever is allowed via the firewall you can do that also and we said switch port mode e and switch port trunk mode is on and don't forget to say no shutdown to this fcip interface or else it will show us as administratively down so what did we do we first created zones create zones then add members to it to the zone and then add this zone to the zone set and activate the zone set okay so we will activate this zone set after i activate this zone set the fcns if i have this over here this device has logged in the floggy the fiber channel naming server is a distributed database this guy will also add it over here so here i will see the fabric login floggy over here and here it will be advertised as the fcns fiber channel naming service so let's see on mds2 on mds2 do you see an fcns database over here show fcns database this comes as 7 e10 af am i seeing it over here show floggy database see this is the fc id the ip addresses of your storage world so this is the domain this is the port number port group and this is the port number 7e10 af do you see it over here 7e10 af that is correct so our fc ip tunnel is also up now similarly what we will do is see here you can say show zone set active see i did not configure anything on mds2 right i configured everything on mds1 but this is see here it says zone set name is first for vsan 1 and the zone name is first and this has this fc id this is currently logged in you can see getting the point so now that the next job will be so we are good from here to here good from here to here now what we will do here is we will create a port channel over here so so now this is my mds2 and this is my 5k2 they are connected in this fashion we are supposed to create a port channel over here so <clears throat> here i can create a normal port channel but this is my 5k 5000 series 55 48 up there are ethernet ports over here i need to convert this ethernet into fc right how do i do that so let's go in here let's say show interface brief i see that my SFP validation has failed on my Ethernet. These are two Ethernet ports. I need to convert them into FC. How will I convert them? I will say slot one port thirty two hyphen thirty one type is fiber channel, and I'll say end. I'll say copy run start, and I will just reboot the device. After the device is rebooted, it will allow us reload. yes we load the device till then the device reboots we will do one thing we will go in here and we will configure a port channel over here 
in storage area network the port channel is configured in the reverse fashion you can say so what should be the configuration interface oh sorry interface port hyphen channel 20 i'll say exit interface fc1 slash 5 hyphen 6 switch port channel hyphen group 20 force exit right and after doing that i'll do the same config on the 5k and i'll just say no shutdown because by default this will be shut down so we will create a port channel first add interfaces to this port channel and then again we'll go in port channel and say switch port mode e and all let's say interface port channel 20 switch port mode is e switch port trunk mode is on and then we will say no shutdown Simple configuration from MDS. Let's copy. No feature is required because this is a normal port channel. So this is on MDS2. Let us go on our MDS2 device here. Okay. So I have a port channel ready, but the other side is not yet configured. So we will boot up this device and we will just configure it over here. So let's say my 5K is boot up. Let's add the password to it. Let's say configure terminal. Show interface brief. Where are my 31 and 32 interfaces? Not there, right? I converted those, but they are not being listed in the interfaces. Why? Because feature FCOE is still pending until unless you do not install the feature, those ports will not come in here. So after this feature is installed, let us see earlier i was not able to see anywhere fc interfaces okay let us say show interface brief again see the difference over here now i can see my fc interfaces over here fiber channel interfaces let's do one thing now let's create a port channel but on your 5k it is called a san port channel right so in here i will say interface san port channel 20 Interface FC, what is it? 31 hyphen 32, channel group 20, force, and then again go on this one and no shut this port. Let's copy this config. Let's go on your 5k2 over here and let's add the ports in here. I think channel interface sand board channel. I forgot over here again. It's channel group 20, interface sand port channel, port channel 20. Let's go back again. Good, works fine. Show sand port channel summary. Now, as of now, it, it will take its time. It will boot up and it will come up. Let us see. Did I turn it on on the other side? Yes. What I'll do is I'll purposely go and shut interface. Let me see. Did I turn on the physical interfaces? Interface fc1 slash 5 hyphen 6 no shut configure terminal interface fc1 slash 31 dash 32 no shut show interface and port channel 20 it is initializing means it will come up soon soon not all vsans it is fiber channel switch port mode is e trunk mode is on trunking expansion port vsans all seems to be good so we are up with our port channel sand port channel on 5548 so if my port channel is up i am also receiving some database over here let us say show fcns database show fca fiber channel naming service let it come so on my 5k2, we are able to see show FCNS database. Who is this? 7810AF. This is my MDS. So we have successfully created fabric logins, FCIP, and up to 5k, we have our sand port channel. So from okay, done for here. 